There's one success tip that is so underutilized, that is so old school, that when I brought it up on a radio show recently, the caller into the show started laughing. Hey, David Essel here, David Essel's Daily Video Boost. I'm gonna tell you that tip in a minute. Your exclusive online video community, giving you ideas and thoughts on how to lift your life to the highest level possible. Your counselor, coach, cheerleader, all wrapped in one. Take notes, please take notes. Don't trust your brain to remember a damn thing and then do something that you'd rather not do, okay? so. I'm on this radio show and we're talking about uh, individuals that want to break addictions. We're talking about individuals that want to heal love relationships. We're talking about individuals that want to earn more money. And so the host was asking me for hacks, you know, that word hacks, like shortcuts. And I started laughing and then she started laughing at as well because she knew exactly what I was going to say next. I said, listen, my angel, <laughs> there are so little hacks when it comes to huge success in life. So if someone wants to break a four year addiction to alcohol or nicotine or food or longer, there's no hack that you're going to be able to use. If someone is struggling financially, there's no freaking hack. If someone wants to lose hundred pounds, there's no freaking hacks. Okay. There's like, that is an overused term. I used to use it a couple years ago and then I just stopped using it. It's like, oh, come on, please. Shortcuts. I want a shortcut. Of course we want a shortcut. No one wants to do the freaking work anymore, right? Can you get an amen? So anyway, this caller calls up and says, you know, I know that you guys are talking about shortcuts to achieve this, this, and this, and you don't seem like a big fan of it. I said, not at all. I go, I think that if they're overused, they don't work. And so then the caller said, well, what do you think the most powerful tool is to make a major change, like recovery or weight loss or money or a love relationship, whatever? And I said, well, let me bring something up that my parents, my grandparents, and my great grandparents would fully agree with. While they don't agree with everything I say, they would love this one. The most underutilized success and made of motivational tool in the world today is called willpower. Write it down, willpower. Willpower means that you're gonna take your will, your mind, your energy, your activity, and you are going to blast through the craving for alcohol, the desire to spend money you don't have, the, 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 the desire to hold on to a resentment with your current lover that isn't serving you. You've got to use willpower to get the momentum going or going into the gym. You know, oh, I don't wanna go, I'm tired, BS. Get your butt in there anyway. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I don't want to record all my expenses every day because then I'm going to have to actually see what I'm spending. Bingo. Come on, Charlie. Get on board. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, man. You, everyone wants a shortcut. There's no such thing as shortcuts to long-term huge success in life. But here's the great news. Once you utilize willpower on a regular basis and you change the subconscious mind around to understand that's who you are now, it will not require willpower anymore. It'll just become who you are. The examples that I always give are, you know, like Evelyn Keeling, my friend Evelyn Keeling lost 245 pounds. Her complete story is in our brand new book coming out called Focus. And in it, she had to use willpower. Can you imagine 245 pounds overweight and walking or getting wheeled in a wheelchair into the gym? You know, like that's willpower, right? Overcoming the embarrassment, the judgment, the, all that kind of crap. See, that's willpower. And people that I work with and people that I interview and people that I interact with, they all have stories of willpower. My mentor, Joe Cerulli, homeless, living in his car to multimillionaire. It was willpower, baby. But once you do what you don't want to do, my famous line, on a regular basis, it just becomes who you are and you don't need willpower anymore, okay? So don't, let, don't forget to let your friends and family know we're on the air for them as well. Get them to sign up for the Daily Boost so they get these little tidbits of information too. And if you're stuck, if you're procrastinating, if you're frustrated, if you're unhappy with your money, your weight, your relationship, whatever it might be, and you don't seem to have that willpower to do it on your own, it's natural to reach out to an accountability partner to take you down the path with them. So I would love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. All of our work, doesn't matter where you are around the world, we do it via Skype and phone, is 100% money back guaranteed, okay? So let's work together. We take on a couple new clients every week. This could be the perfect time for me to help you make willpower a part of who you are. Everything is at talkdavid.com. Have a great day.